Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you don't know me already, my name is Hayden. I'm the owner of Whiteboard Club and on this channel, we teach people how to make more money and grow their business. So if you haven't already done this, make sure to smash that subscribe button, click it as hard as you can because I wanna teach you how to make more money. And in this video, we are gonna talk about five lessons that they will not teach you in business school. Now guys, first off, I haven't been to business school, but I know tons of people who have been to business school, and I have also, on the same side, grown a company before. The last company I did, did over $30 million in sales, and we ended up selling it. So I got a little idea of how to grow a business, and I just wanna tell you that I've worked with a lot of people who have gone to business school, and have really not found a lot of benefit from it. Certain, one ha certain ones have in certain areas, but I can tell you, if you want to go out and start your own business, it's best to probably just do it on your own. Now, I'm going to talk about five different things that they won't talk about in business school and that they don't bring up. And this is just real life facts that, you know, it, it only comes from pounding the pavement, you know, going out on the streets and actually creating an own business, a business by yourself. You need to understand that the people who are teaching business schools or teaching you to get your business mastery or whatever it may be, your, um, your business degree, they're teachers. They don't own businesses. Some of them might, but the majority of them are teachers. So they don't really have hands-on experience for everything. They just go by the book. So this is what I want to talk about. The first thing that you need to understand, and this, this applies in life, everything I believe here. Every price in this world is negotiable. Every single one. It all depends on who you talk to and how you pitch them. But I can tell you that every single price is negotiable. You have a CPA, that's negotiable. You have a lawyer, that's negotiable. You wanna buy some certain type of product, that's all negotiable as well. A lot of people think there are set standards to things. You're right, there are set standards to a lot of things, but it all depends who you talk to. So I'm telling you, you can get a better deal. And if you want a better deal, the best thing to do is just ask go from there. But I can tell you guys, it's one thing they won't teach you in business school. Every single price, I don't care if you're buying from Walmart or you're buying from me directly, every single thing is negotiable. It just depends on the offer that you make and the timing and everything that comes into play on top of that as well. The next thing that I have for you is a very, very important one. Guys, I'll get a new... So this is talent over degrees. Business owners look for talent when hiring, not degrees. Now they do look for degrees. Some degrees are mandatory, I can tell. But I can say that if you're a person and you're going to get a job and you're going out there and you're going to work in the business school uh, or in the business world, your degree really doesn't matter. It's all about how much you can bring to the table. You're not gonna get paid $100,000 a year because you got a degree. That, that just doesn't make any sense to a business owner. You're gonna get paid 100 grand because you go out and you make that company $500,000. If you wanna make a quarter million the next year, go make them a million dollars. That's the best way to get it. You don't go get a better degree. You make the company more money. You make yourself more money. That's the thing. So guys, just think about that. If you are a person that can go out there and generate more profit for a company, you're gonna have a job for the rest of your life. I can promise you that. And you're probably gonna keep making more and more money. But if you're a person that just has a degree and you have no real life experience, you've never done anything, you've never proven yourself before, except for that degree, you're probably not gonna make as much as the one who already has proven talent. That's just the way it goes. And I can tell you that experience is way more valuable than education. And you have to have hands-on experience if you really want to get the top dollar for your money. All right, guys, so this is a longer one. You only make more when you contribute more. Something that they won't teach you in business school. Somehow these people come out of business school thinks that they deserve $250,000 a year. Okay, no, that's not how it works. You make more money when you contribute more. If you want to make more money in your business, if you want to make more money in somebody else's business, you need to bring more to the table. One of the best ways to do that is bring more customers, bring more revenue, bring more profit. If you can bring more profit to the table, most likely you're gonna get a raise and you're gonna work yourself up as in, the, in any industry you're in, especially if you own your own business. If you can make more profit, guess what? You make more money as well. So this is something you need to understand. You only make more when you contribute more. A lot of employees think, oh, I'm due for a raise. Why are you due for a raise? Because 
the business owners don't owe you a raise unless you've done something more, unless you've done better. If you're just doing the same old job over and over and over, you're already getting paid what you're worth. There's nothing more to it. There's no bonus or anything additional to that. But if you bring more to the table, guess what? There's odds are that you can make more money out of this. So next one that I got for you guys, this is a good one here. If you're a business owner, get ready to work. Business owners are the hardest workers in the world. There's no doubt about that. Um, I can tell you that this, 60 hours equals 40 hours. Everybody usually works 40 hour work weeks, nine to five, Monday through Friday, that's typical, 40 hour work week. Okay, doesn't work that way for business owners. We work 60 hours and that's our 40. So we gotta figure out how we pinch 20 more hours in there. Trust me, when you own a business, you'll figure it out probably end up finding out how you can get more time is really the real question to ask. But something you need to understand, these teachers, they get, you know, when they teach you in business school, they get two months off. You know, they got, they got like literally a two month vacation in the summer. Some of them have to go work other jobs. Most of them take a lot of time off. You know, they don't understand that a business has to run 24 seven every single day. We don't get two months off of business. It doesn't work like that. So remember, 60 hours is really the new 40 hours when it comes to growing your business. Next one I have for you is, you will fail 10 times before you succeed once. I'm gonna let you know that. Now, I'm not saying that you're gonna go out there and you're gonna start 10 businesses and every single one of them there are gonna fail, but you're gonna come up with 10 ideas, you're gonna come up with 10 different innovations, whatever it may be, and only one of those is gonna be successful. So a lot of people in business school, they tell you, oh, go out there, you can start this, you can start this, start this. Well, they don't mention that 90% of people fail and the reason why they fail. And they also don't mention what to do after you fail. That's a huge factor that comes into play here. So I want you to bring this mentality to your brain, to your mindset, to yourself, that if you're gonna go out there and you're gonna start your own business, be prepared to ten, fail 10 times as many, be prepared to fail 10 times as much as you'll succeed. Okay, now I'm gonna tell you that one success is greater than all the failures combined. So you need to understand that too. Everybody who has had major success has major failures. If you look at some of the top companies, Microsoft, you know, with Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos, if you don't think those guys make mistakes, then yeah, I mean, you're a loony in that case. I can tell you that Bezos, his company still makes millions of dollars in mistakes every year, whether that's from every year, every single day, I can say, whether that's from damaging inventory to getting order shipments wrong. I mean, there's a million different possible things that can go in there. So they're constantly failing, but they have something that's successful that continues to push forward. You guys just gotta understand that, that you're going to fail. You're going to fail over and over, but it's about being consistent, working harder, and figuring out what works and doubling down on that in that case. And these guys, I can break down for you are five lessons that they don't teach you in business school. And this is something I want to provide to you right now. Real life expectations, real life situations, real life scenarios. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned a little bit something. So if you really want to learn how to make your business more profitable, how to grow it, make sure to check out this video because I actually made a video exactly on that topic and it'll really help you out. Hope you guys enjoyed this, learned a little something new. I'm excited to see you on the next one. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. Other than that, I'll see you around. Have a great day.